to Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Steve, I know it's uh, early. Have you got any initial word about J.I.? I, know, I mean, obviously, it will take a while to find anything out. How, how uh, gut-wrenching was it to, to see that, knowing how hard he worked and uh, what he – Well, I mean, I tell you, I, I'm hopeful. I mean, you know, I, I, it, it didn't look great. Or bad. It looked bad, obviously, but, I mean, you know, you, you, until you hear anything, I'm just hopeful. That's all. Uh, Tim Reynolds, AP. Steve, you kind of half answered what I was going to ask you, but because he is so heavily braced, because it was so wrapped, I guess, is there reason to believe that it might not have been as bad as it looked just because I, yeah, I don't I mean, think we've gone too again, far? Yeah, again, Tim, just haven't been through this a lot of times. That's what you hope for. I mean, I, it, it's, it's all conjecture, and you just have to wait and, and find out uh, once we get the, uh, you know, the doctors look at it and all that. Steve, will he have to leave the bubble to get tested? Do we even know that? No. Philip Rossman, Mike, Orlando Magic Daily. I'm um, just kind of moving into the game. H how important was the, the the start that you guys got off got off to? It felt like Aaron especially really set a a strong physical tone on the offensive end, getting to the basket. Oh, he was great. I thought he was great at both ends, and he did set the tone by getting the ball, like you said, to the basket, drawing fouls, making good passes. Um, we shot the ball exceptionally well. Um, but again, before watching the film, we were inside out, and I thought he set the tone. Does does you know playing that way, getting getting inside the way way you guys do, did early, and, and and playing with that defensive energy and physicality, does that kind of snowball and spread spread to the rest of the team and, and create kind of the confidence that you guys had throughout? Yeah, let's hope so. I mean, the other thing that happened early, obviously, was DJ's pick and roll game. I thought those were the two things. Um, you know, DJ hitting Vooch on the rolls, and when you do, Vooch is such a really, I mean, just exceptional decision maker in there. Uh, created a lot of shot, and then, like you said, it was AD five to the basket. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. You touched on what I was going to say. I was, I was looking to you know, how good was DJ's passing tonight, uh, his vision on a few of those, both finding Vooch cutting and then, you know, uh, finding players at the three-point line. Yeah, no, I, his pick-and-roll offense, again, the efficiency numbers are going to be through the roof because – uh, he really did it all. I mean, he got down deep into the paint and kicked out for shooters. He hit boots on the roll a lot. And then also, um, you know, he scored. So, I, I you know, the, again, with, without watching the film, those are the things that stood out to me. Roy Perry, Orlando Sentinel. Steve, you know, when you guys played these guys in January, they I think you were up by 17 and they came back. And obviously, you guys haven't played in, in four months, roughly. But how satisfying was it that you guys came out in the third quarter and, and didn't let your foot off the gas and continued to play the way that you had in the first half? Oh, no. no. I mean, look, as you saw today, again, I mean, 20, 22 points, 23, 24 points in this league and a half is it's, – it's a good lead, but it's – you know, you've got to play, especially a team like them. They're well coached. Uh, they do a lot of different things offensively to put pressure on your defense. And again, our defense has been for these two games, for the most part, very good. You know, the two fourth quarters have, I just told the guys and they've destroyed our defensive numbers because we just stopped playing, stopped concentrating on both ends of the floor. Uh, but I mean, it's, it shows what we can do uh, when we're locked in and tonight, the, you know, the starters were, I thought, terrific in both halves. When we broke the lineup in the first half, the second unit played very well. Um, you know, tonight, and, you know, again, when they were up, which is not always easy with the lead, you know, that's when things got away from us a little bit. Mike Bianchi, Orlando Sentinel. Coach, how would you rank this uh, offensive game as far as games you guys have played this year? I mean, you guys were red hot there, especially in the first half. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we shot the three well. We got to the free throw line. Uh, you know, we did turn the ball over a lot. I think a lot of that was late. But for sure, one of the better offensive games that we played and hopefully something that we can build on uh, for the Indiana game. Also, Coach, how do you explain um, – how do you explain the fact that the two Orlando teams are undefeated in seven games 
inside the Disney bub bubble? Is that some sort of pixie dust in here or something? I don't know, but I hope it gets to eight, nine, and ten. How about that? <laughs> Herrick Wilson, 1070. Hey, Coach, can you speak to uh, the production of James Ennis? You know, this guy came in not at the start of the season with the team, but has had has been an impact with you guys. Oh, he's, you know, he does all the little things. He plays with great energy. Uh, you know, he didn't shoot the ball as well tonight, but he's a range shooter. He's a terrific cutter. Uh, he can guard a ton of different people. He plays different positions. And uh, he has just a natural energy level and toughness. He actually brings a lot to our team, other things like MCW does, just uh, an edge that uh, very few people have. And that was my next point about MCW, just uh, speaking about, you know, the impact that he makes coming off the bench with you guys, because he seems to bring a defensive prowess when he's on the court. He made a couple defensive plays tonight that uh, there was one, I don't want to say against who, where he contained the ball uh, in, a in a pick and roll, got back in front of a very good player, had a great contest on the shot. And, you know, we came to the huddle and two of the assistants said there's like only like two, three guys in the league that could make that play. I mean, he's, Mike's uh, not just his individual defense, his team defense is, you know, he's, he's an elite, elite defender. Okay, last question, Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Steve, what uh, were your impressions of how Markel played and uh, how encouraging was uh, how well he shot the ball and seemed to have total confidence? Yeah, I think he's, I think he's feeling uh, better and better. And, uh, I mean, he was, you know, really, really good. And, uh, you know, again, he's such a good worker. He has such high IQ that uh, the longer he plays, Vooch, Vooch, uh, Vooch just walked in. He thinks we're talking about him. It, it, Vooch always says the same thing. Why don't I get the ball more? I mean, that's it. But, uh, no, Markel I mean, played a, a terrific game, and I think he's feeling better and better. Okay, great. We're all, we're all done. Thank you so much.